GIFs have taken the internet by storm as a creative way to share expressive visuals with family, friends, and viewers. Billions of GIFs are sent every single day, and luckily, there's a few resources available to help you create your own GIFs for free. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Lucas here from Snappa. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom GIFs using Snappa and Giphy. Let's get right into it. To start off, let's head into Snappa so we can design the frames for our GIF. I want my GIF to have square dimensions, so I'm going to click Instagram post. Feel free to check out any of our pre-designed templates, but today I'm going to create my GIF frames from scratch. Now that my canvas is open, I'm going to head to the background tab to choose a background color. Today, I'm going to choose black to make my GIF background nice and bold. Next, I'm going to head to the text tab so I can add some text to my canvas. If I double click the text box, I can type in whatever text I'd like. I'm also going to change the size just to make the text a little bit bigger, and I'm going to rearrange it on my canvas. For this GIF, I'm thinking of creating a cool flash sale animation, which would be perfect for any online business. Now I want to add some shadow to my text. I'm going to choose white for a white shadow, and I'm also going to increase the blur amount. Next, I also want to change the font of my text. So I'm just going to scroll around and see if I can find a font that I like. This one should be perfect. Now I can choose the color of my text. For this frame, I'm going to choose black, but in the next few frames, you're going to see that I can change the text color. I'm also going to copy and paste the text because I want to add sail with the same settings that I did with flash. After making a few position adjustments, I'm going to rename this graphic as frame 1 because this is going to be the first frame of my GIF animation. I'm also going to save my graphic to avoid losing any progress. Now that we're done designing the first frame, I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. And now I can start working on the other frames. For the next frame, I'm going to go to the Shapes tab and add a circle. I'm going to click on the circle and drag the corners to resize it, and I'm also going to bring it back a few layers so it sits behind the text. For the color of the circle, I'm going to choose red. So in the color picker, there's a few popular colors, but I'm going to choose a custom color because I really want this red to pop. I'm going to reposition the red circle, and I'm also going to rename this graphic as frame 2. You can also duplicate and save each frame as a separate graphic, but today I'm just going to download it right away. As I continue to design my frames, I'm going to change the color of the text as the red circle passes through the canvas. This is how I envision my animation, and once I've created and downloaded all my frames, I can upload them to Giphy to put them together. So now that we've created all our frames, let's head into Giphy and put this animation together. You can click Create in the top right corner. Keep in mind that you are going to have to make an account, but it's completely free and it only takes a few seconds. Once you've clicked Create, you can click Choose File and choose the first frame of your GIF. Now that it's uploaded, you're going to want to click Add More Images in the bottom left corner so you can add the rest of the frames that you've created. If you click Browse, you can go one by one and upload each frame. Now I'm going to use the slider to change the duration of my frames. This slider is super useful because you get a live preview on the left side and you can choose how fast you want your GIF to play. Once you click continue, you'll notice that Giphy has a whole bunch of great features for you to add text captions, stickers, filters, and you can even draw on your GIF, which is super awesome. But for today, I'm just going to keep it as is. Now that I'm done putting my GIF together, I'm going to click continue to upload, and then I'm going to click upload to Giphy. Now that it's uploaded, you can see how your final GIF looks, and you can click the share button to upload it to social media. You can also copy the GIF link if you want to send it to a friend, and if you want to download it to your computer, click MP4, copy the GIF link, and open it up in a different window. Once you've opened the link, just right-click your GIF and click Save Video As, and the video will save to your computer as an MP4 file. Here's another GIF that I created using Snappa and Giphy. You can see in each frame the branches fall down in the background. If you're wondering how I found these branches, just go back into Snappa and click the Graphics tab. From the Graphics tab, click Vectors, and you can see we have a whole bunch of hand-drawn vectors that you can use in your graphics for free. With Snappa's Pro subscription, you also have access to our background removal tool, which is super helpful for removing an image background in just a second. 
This feature was especially helpful when I was creating this furniture GIF, where each chair pops up over a white background. Well, that wraps up today's video. I've posted links to both Snappa and Giphy in the description down below, and remember to like and subscribe for some more amazing content. See you in the next one.